the top rock, top rock guitar players. Yeah, here we go. We got Garcia right there, of course. <laughs> you know, we got him always in there. Rock guitar players. We're going to start by giving you the number, maybe 10 top rock guitar players that are hanging loose, helping us to hang loose and to bring us home. Of course, if you can see, I got Jerry Garcia. We're always into Jerry Garcia's playing. <laughs> It's the Professor Blue Music and Professor Blue Review. Boom. Every dead album. We love it. But anyways, Garcia was one of a kind. Anyways, we got Garcia here. We got Tom Petty up there. That's the first show that I took everybody to. We've got Endless Summer because we're close to the beach with our other office at Doheny Beach. We've got Frankenstein. We've got Abbey Road. Thank you, John Lennon. Thank you, John Lennon, peace be with you and your poems, poetry, greatness, love, and affection for the people and the world. Thank you, John Lennon. Thank you for your art. Anyways, here we are. We're in the dungeon at Prof Blue Studios, or really Prof Blue Review. Thanks for hanging out to us. Hey, can I help you with what? I believe, out of my library of 3,500 to 5,000 albums, the top rock, top rock guitar players that are going to help us to hang loose. Yeah, here we go. We got Garcia right there, of course. <laughs> you know, we got him always in there. Here we go. I mean, we've shown you this album before. We're talking about vinyl. Here it is. It was in my last video. Jimi Hendrix Experience. You can't do anything wrong with that. The man that played the Star Spangled Banner at Woodstock. I think this is an innovator. And there we go. We come up again. Number two. Hey, Eddie Van Halen, right? I mean, these two albums, Eddie Van Halen, come on. You can't go wrong with these albums here. I mean, what are you going to say? Eddie played the second Star Spangled Banner with Eruption here on, uh, you know, their Van Halen, Van Halen album. You know, what can you say? I'm, I'm going to read a couple of these here. What do you got? You got, um, you really got me, you know, uh, an eruption and the ice cream man. I mean, we, we, Jamie's crying. I mean, all the way down here, you know, David Lee Roth. Um, this album is quintessential albums for your album collection. Eddie Van Halen, right here. Uh, both of them. All right, I don't want to say Eddie Van Halen, Van Halen. I mean, we got David Lee Roth in here. We've got, you know, uh, it, it, you know, Edward Van Halen, of course, Alex Van Halen, Michael Anthony, can't go wrong. Guitarist number two. I mean, we're talking about another one from Woodstock. I mean, he just took the place by storm. Here it goes. Boom. Santana. I mean, see, these two albums, I really like these Santana albums. Some folks would say Abraxas. But I'm very into Moonflower. Uh, this album is quintessential in your record collection. I want to kind of get into it and show you a beautiful photo. One of the first, uh, you know, big long range photos that they were using in the middle of albums. Got to get this, you know, Santana Moonflower. I love it. I mean, I like all of Santana. There's your guitar player. And hey, here we go. Here we go. Who did this album? Who did this album? <laughs> you would think the Professor Blue Review would be pulling something else out. Yeah, David Gilmore. Come on, David Gilmore, the man that made Dark Side of the Moon. I mean, that Pink Floyd made Dark Side of the Moon. But, uh, you know, we like all of the Floyd catalog. 
So, hey, there it is. David Gilmore. We're liking it. We're moving on. I mean, you already showed this album, too. Come on. Jimmy, yeah, you know I mean, Eric Clapton, baby. History of Eric Clapton. This is my absolute quintessential album. I showed it to you before. But Eric Clapton it was an innovator taking the blues, you know, on another road. Uh, thank you, Einstein. Thank you, Einstein. And then, of course, the guitar player for Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page. We're saying that Jimmy, you know, went from the blues and, you know, Robert Plant and him together are almost, you know, a kind of a Lennon McCartney pulling together. But everybody, John Paul Jones, John Bonham, Led Zeppelin IV, we're very in very into this album this you need this in your you know classic rock collection we like a lot of led zeppelin albums but uh, we're talking about quintessential guitar players that made the albums great jimmy page jimmy page right uh the guitar player uh and you know you can't beat this uh a very you know knowledgeable player that pulled things together Jeff Beck, Wired. I mean, this is not Wired, but this is a great Jeff Beck album if you want to get it. It's with Jan, the Jan Hammer group. It's kind of out there, um, and you'll, once you hear this album, you'll say, wow, okay, Jeff Beck is right there with the great guitar players. He would play in the studio, and they said it was one take, automatic, a... Uh, I wasn't there. But the man that did it one take in the studio, these next two players. There it is. Tom Schultz from Boston. You got to say his sound was, you know, new and brought America ta -da, to their knees with studio techniques. And he started by doing it course in his basement but his studio was amazing in his basement boston tom schultz uh was an engineer and became a rock legend right there tom schultz from boston we you know this was an album that just you know took studio techniques beyond and the beautiful acoustic guitar recording is is fabled here it is get it uh, then as we follow through, we know the man from, yes, Steve Howe. Now, I know that Trevor Rabin played on, uh, you know, this cut, Owner of the Lonely Heart. But I saw a live version of, yes, playing Young Owner of the o Owner of the Lonely Heart. I saw them with Steve Howe playing on it, and it was completely amazing. I'd love to see both those guys, Steve Howe and Trevor Rabin, jamming together. That would be awesome. Yes, the Fragile album and then Owner of a Lonely Heart, just because that cut is unique. And, I, and, then, and then I saw Steve Howe play on it, and wow, you know, that group is the, the musicianship is beyond. Hey, thanks for coming to our Chicago studio in the basement. Uh, we're cutting a lot of music here, but we're talking about rock guitar players that made their albums great. Robert Fripp. I mean, what are you going to do? Robert Fripp. I mean, I, I, let's look at this album's been played so much, it's torn to shreds pretty much. Robert Fripp, The Court of the King Crimson. In the Court of the King Crimson. Woo! And we all remember that photo. Yeah. What's going on? Is he hanging out with Pink Floyd or something? <laughs> you know, I mean, there it is. This is an album. If you have any album for rock, guitar, and prog rock, there it is. Court of the King Crimson. You know, I mean, what are you going to do, you know? In the Court of King Crimson, an observation by King Crimson. And I, you know, I, I played this so much. It's just, look at it. Look at this album. It's just blasted. Anyways, hey, put it on. Get psychedelic.
Anyways, we're moving on. We're moving on. Hey, a guitar player that we really, truly, truly, truly think highly of. And I saw them at Lollapalooza, I think in 2011. I'm going to tell you the name of the guitar player first. His name is Tony Iommi. I-O-M-M-I. -M -M Tony Iommi. You know, from Black Sabbath. And paranoid. Oh, I'll tell you the story. We're sitting in the stands and our coach is ripping us because we lost a meet and we had the stereo up there. And right when he got done, we put down the needle right when he got done with his talk and it went, sweet leap went, ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 da, na, 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 na. I mean, it just, <laughs> Sweet Leaf came on and our coach went nuts. He was like, what is this terrible music? And we said, what is this great music? It is Black Sabbath with Tony Iommi. And of course, Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, come on, the guys, Ozzy Osbourne, Tony Iommi, Terry Geezer Butler. I mean, a bass player beyond... And then, of course, Bill Ward on drums. That is Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. An album where the guitar player made the effort, made the greatness right there. I mean, we still, you know, you know, I got to go get it. All right. So those are our picks. Except for one more we're going to add because of his creativity. And we're pulling this album out because, hey, Who Are You? The song Who Are You just kicks. And it was just kind of a little antidote to the end of the Who's Rockin' era. You know, come on. Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend, the guitar player. I mean, John Entwistle. And of course, the essential number one, Keith Moon. And I wrote a song where my father ended up with his car like Keith Moon in the swimming pool. Yeah, that's right. Driving down the road to ruin with Jesus on my side. Yeah, hey, you, maybe you'll hear that song. Driving down the road to ruin. Thank that song to Keith Moon, Keith Moon. But anyways, a guitar player that just hey he was innovative um the sequences he did the rocking he did i mean him jimmy van halen all of these these are my quintessential guitar players but i have to add one player there are so many more but there is one that i believe put it together and took blues into rock. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab that album. the Professor Blue Music and Professor Blue Review. Hey, please click on part two of the vinyl best Professor Blue Music greatest classic guitar players. He's still trying to find that album. Hey, I'm going to be talking with all him Dr. Vinyl soon. Check it out on my YouTube channel when Professor Blue meets Dr. Vinyl. When Professor Blue meets Dr. Vinyl. Enjoy your vinyl. Love it. Love those vinyl records. Have a good day.